All right, so why is Jimmy Rogers deserting America, his homeland? So we got to welcome the Commodities King back. He's my man. I've known him a long time. Legend Jimmy Rogers, chairman of Rogers Holding, author of the new book, A Gift to My Children, A Father's Lessons for Life and Investing. Jimmy, good to see you. You know, Jimmy, in the scriptures, the prodigal son comes home. But you're rewriting the scriptures. The prodigal son is going away to distant Asia. Why are you leaving us? Well, Larry, first of all, we still have a place in the States. So don't think we, we, we haven't left America completely. And we still pay taxes in the U.S., I assure you. So we're very much there. We vote there. The whole works. As the book explains, I want my daughters to grow up speaking Mandarin. And the best place to do that is in, in Asia. We as you know, parents do a lot of things for their children. I'm just another parent doing what I can for, for the future of my children. Well, I love your fatherhood. Believe me, that's not where I'm going in this. I'm glad of all that. But I want to ask you, you're talking Mandarin, that's China. And after all, at the end of the day, as far as they have come with some market reforms, it is still a dictatorship. It is not a political democracy. And that always worries me. And that suggests to me that economies prosper under free people. And China doesn't qualify, Jimmy. Doesn't that worry you? The first time I went to China 25 years ago, there was one newspaper, one radio, one TV, one everything. Now, Larry, there are dozens of media outlets. The Internet is everywhere. People are protesting in the streets every month in China. Now, look, it's not the Netherlands yet. It's not America yet. But it sure, it sure changed dramatically in 25 years. And look at what happened to Taiwan. Look at what happened to South Korea. As they got prosperous, they became real democracies. Well, I think Taiwan... That may be happening in China. Well, I think Taiwan and South Korea are legitimate democracies. They have their own brand. I'll grant you that. But I don't see China getting there. And, and that worries me. Now, let me ask you uh, another thing here in the U.S. Barack Obama, you know, the guy has a big popularity rating. Right now, he is trying desperately to stimulate the economy. And it looks like the recovery is on the verge. The Federal Reserve is very loose and easy. Doesn't that mean that even now we've got a tremendous stock market, at least for another six to 12 months? Well, I heard you say that before, Larry. No, but the market's already looked ahead. We've had one of the strongest rallies in stock market history. Everybody's looked ahead to December already. If you ask me, things are going to be slow for a while in the stock market and in the economy. Tell me what's going to make it the economy strong enough, Larry, to justify all this. Well, Most sectors of the economy are not recovering. Well, in the short run, we, no, I don't agree with that. I mean, we've seen a bottoming in housing, some pick up in consumers. Probably the best story, Jimmy, that I really like is the order books are starting to rise and the inventories have been cut. But I want to go bigger. If the U.S. stock market advance slows, won't the rest of the world's advance slow? These markets all work together, Jim. No, for the most part, you're exactly right. I mean, back to China. China's been the strongest stock market in the world for the past seven or eight months. It's up 50 percent or something. They've, they've already started leading. But again, Larry, I'm just afraid that for the most part, most sectors of the world economy are not going to be great. Yes, the Federal Reserve has pumped money like it has never happened in world history and every other ba central bank in the world, too. Of course, we're having a rebound right now. But that cannot last. The dollar is under pressure. The bond market's going to be under pressure. You're going to see uh, unintended consequences from these people at the Federal Reserve but who don't know what they're doing. And Mr. The, Obama doesn't know what he's doing. All right. He doesn't know what he's doing. But what about the long-term commodity play? Just got 30 seconds, Jimmy Rogers. Don't commodities in the very long run, those commodity prices fall. They don't rise. That's the long run pattern. Productivity, technology, it's cheaper to make them. What's your take? It's a world of information in the long and technology. Run, Larry, in the long run, we're all dead. But, you know, for the next 10 years or so, commodities are the only place to be. That's where the fundamentals are getting better. Are you pushing your luck for the next 10 years? No, no, no. I, I said it's the, it's the best place to be for the next decade. All right. Jimmy Rogers, thank you ever so much. Good luck on the book, and uh, we love your fatherhood.